As you guys head into the conference championship this weekend, what development have you seen over the entire team over the last couple of months? Yeah, I think, honestly, every week everybody's getting a little bit better. Um, I think that's just natural progression with the season, and you get excited when you PR, so you're just kind of bought in a little bit more. Uh, so each meet, they're running faster, they're jumping farther. So just having that momentum go into conference weekend is going to be big for us because uh, they're all excited and hyped up and ready to go. So your sport's sort of unique in the sense that you don't necessarily compete against all the teams from your conference right. throughout the year like you know, some of the other sports do, but you have kind of marks that you see how everyone's doing. But mm -hmm. What makes it different when kind of everyone's in the same building competing against each other head to head? Yeah, I mean certain, especially running events, can be really tactical. So um, to me, rankings on conference day kind of go out the window. Um, it's just kind of putting yourself in the race, putting yourself in position. There's prelims for some of the events, so some of the kids that aren't ranked in the top eight end up making the final. Uh, so it's all about bringing that good energy and realizing that on that given day, anything can happen. Um, so hopefully all the chips kind of fall in our hand. You mentioned some of those people that aren't in the top eight, maybe mm -hmm. they're in that group of you know, 10 to 13 or something like that. What does it take you know, on a weekend like this for them to really rise up and to, and to score points for a team? Yeah, a lot of it's just you know, having that natural grit. Um, and a lot of it honestly comes from our other team members that are there but aren't competing and just kind of giving them that momentum and being on the sideline and getting almost in their face. You know, we kind of bring some of the smallest squads there but probably have the loudest group. Um, so we kind of bring that good energy to the meet. Um, so just getting Honestly, I told them just get every point that we can actually get, scrape to the finish line, um, get in those long jumps, um, and we'll be good to go. And what are some of the events that you'd expect USC to really make some noise at? Yeah, I mean, Sean has been having a great fifth year, so we're looking for big points from him in the triple, the long, and the 60, so he'll have a pretty busy weekend. Um, Alex Bashkawi, another upperclassman, uh, he'll be in the distance medley. The 800, the mile, so like he's he's looking for some big points on the men's side. So those will kind of be our top two on the men's side. Uh, women's side, Allison's gonna have a busy weekend, um, being in the DMR, the mile, and the 3K. Um, Peyton has been jumping outstanding, is in the high jump, so looking for big points from her as well. And then finally, just kind of overall, what are your expectations and. In, in what do you hope to see from your team this weekend against them? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just showing that grit and showing that fight and realizing that there are a lot of teams that are very close point-wise, so every point does matter. So whether it's you're not ranked and you get to the final, that's a step forward. So just not leaving the track with any regrets and fighting for every point and position they can get.